Welcome to Beyond Unstoppable, the new podcast hosted by best-selling author Ben Angel. Presented by Entrepreneur, Ben takes you on a thrilling exploration of biology, psychology, and technology to help you become unstoppable in business and life. Prepare to be enlightened by an incredible lineup of guests like brain performance expert Jim Quick. This overwhelm that people are feeling with information. Marketing guru Amy Porterfield. That means the world to me. I was never expecting you to say something like that. Social media queen Mari Smith. It's an arms race. There's no question. It's an arms race. And entrepreneur's very own Jason Pfeiffer. That AI is going to break a thing that was already broken. Join us as we delve into artificial intelligence, biohacking, and entrepreneurship. Equipping you for success in 2024, launching this January. Plus, keep listening for an exclusive sneak peek of Ben's new book, The Wolf is at the Door, How to Survive and Thrive in an AI-Driven World. The ring of the phone peers through the quiet halls of Ruth's Canadian home. Ruth, 73, with short gray hair framing her gentle face, picked up. She answered to the sound of her panicked grandson's trembling voice. It was Brandon. He was calling from a prison cell. Her soft eyes widened as she listened intently. Walletless and in dire need of cash to make bail, he pleaded with his grandma to come up with a hefty sum of money and fast. Sharing the shocking news with her husband Greg, 75, in a panic, they drove to their bank in the normally peaceful city of Saskatchewan and withdrew 3,000 Canadian dollars. She was determined to do whatever it took to free her grandson as quickly as possible. But $3,000 wasn't enough. Determined to succeed, Ruth and Greg drove to a second bank where they shared the dire news with the bank manager, hoping to gain help in withdrawing additional funds. It was only then that the second bank manager's suspicions were piqued. The shocking revelation. Another unsuspecting customer had received a similar call and uncovered the chilling truth. The unnervingly realistic voice had been faked. The man on the phone wasn't their grandson, Brandon, but a wolf in disguise. It was definitely this feeling of fear, Ruth revealed to the Washington Post in an interview. The wolf is no longer knocking at your door. He kicked it open, stole your attention, and now he's coming for your wallet. If you think this is hyperbole, you haven't been listening. Ruth's story isn't the first, nor will it be the last of its kind. It evokes vivid memories of the wolf from the beloved fable, Little Red Riding Hood, a cautionary tale whispered by our parents as they gently prepared us for the world's harsh realities. Although no singular author has ever been attributed with this pre-17th century European fable, they unlikely could have foreseen their tale turning into a modern-day narrative of deceit. Only this time, the wolf, cunning and sly, didn't waste time knocking on Grandma's door with the promise of cake and butter. Instead, he picked up the phone and dialed, hitting at the heart of what it means to be human, connection. His malicious intent wasn't to devour his prey, but to bleed their bank account dry. Even though he didn't succeed in this case, as in many others, he succeeded at something much more sinister, shattering our sense of reality as we know it. When we hear a loved one's voice on the phone, we expect it to be them, not an artificially generated AI version of them that can manipulate us into drawing down our life savings or Worse, getting us to commit crimes. With AI's newfound capabilities, a mere few seconds of audio, an unsuspecting target, and the powerful bond between two individuals willing to risk everything to protect one another at any cost is enough to set the stage. Only this time, you may find yourself unwillingly written into the storyline.